Hey guys, Ryu here with another bit for Blender. In this one, we're gonna be talking about interesting arrays. So, what I want to show you is um, example of a pipe. So, let's create a pipe first. Let's grab a cube and SY scale it like this, and then grab this face SY scale it here. We can apply scale with Control A, and then grab these two and create a with Control B, create a uh, bevel, and then select this with control Q and curve extract and press S one and you're done. Re remove this. We don't need it. Cool. Now we're going to control A and visual to mesh and we're going to go to edit mode, control R and then the loop. Now you can see that this loop is actually not straight. It's kind of following either this edge, the angle of this edge or uh, this loop or this loop. Press E, F, and then you can flip it to whichever one you want. I want to align to this one, so it's parallel, and we're going to drop it somewhere here. Control B to split it, scroll your mouse, and then Alt click on your macro to create this kind of a situation. And then Control R in the middle, Control B to split it, Q, and you know, your macro and inside, and then add a bevel. All right, guys, so now what we want to do is we want to add some screws here. so. Uh, asset loader and go to hard ops inserts for example which are free it's a free pack for key tops you can get it on gumroad and click on asset here and drop it here I just scale it i don't want this one i want a different one not this one i want this one there we go and scale it because they they're crazy big and if you have a problem with snapping them you go here and click on face and align rotation G, hold control, and then you can scale them up. So arraying this would be kind of tricky because if you do that, uh, you'll see that it's going to array around the origin point. So it's not going to work, but we can kind of um, adjust it by uh, this bevel is a little bit too big. There we go. You can adjust it by moving the cursor into the middle here. So what we're going to do is grab these edges, so Alt-click and Shift-Alt-click, Shift-S and to edge. So first of all, we're going to move the origin point here in between and then select this pipe Shift-S and uh, to select it. Now the origin point rotation is messed up, granted, but uh, you can actually uh, array it now. So mesh tools and hold control and boom. And you're arraying around the cursor you know, at this sort of a, a rotation, which is great. Now, if you wanted to uh, mirror this, what you need to do is switch here to individual origins and global and simply Alt X and mirror and boom, you're done. All right, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the vid. Uh, if you would like to grab hard ups and box cutter, or Kitops Pro 2, links are in the video description. Hope this one helps you out. Definitely grab these inserts because they're really cool. It's a free pack by Master Z on 1001. Awesome stuff for creating, you know, um, some really cool um, details. Now, one word of warning is that if you go to edit mode, parts of these could be missing, okay, you see? So what you need to do in edit mode is press Alt H to unhide it. I don't know why it's hidden, but there you go. So it's a bonus tip, guys. All right. Well, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.